there's people very irresponsibly inciting people, and they're doing so using false and misleading information. As I said in that video, I'll feature in this video an example. And this is the example I promised. No, not her. She was just in the news report. Rebecca Jarkow didn't know Myers, but she meditated at his memorial. You know, when one person's heart breaks, everybody's does. I'm talking about these bushes. And the reason I looked at that news report is I wanted to confirm that there were bushes at the scene of the Von Durrett Myers shooting. And the reason I looked is because this is an example of the incitement I'm talking about, where this guy, Revolutionary Z, tweets, this is where the shore shooting happened. Where are the <laughs> bushes he jumped out of? This is yellow journalism, spreading falsehoods in order to incite people. So I did some research to see if there were bushes there. I used Google Street View, and I used that news report that I showed you a clip of. And I found the bushes there, and so did other people. As this person tweets, I was a fan until you became nothing more than someone who was trying to incite mistrust. Bushes from your own picture. This tweet perfectly illustrates the fact that there were bushes there and that this guy is misleading people. Let me show you the bushes from Z's own camera. I circled them so you wouldn't miss them. Revolutionary Z is trying to make an issue out of it, trying to discredit what the police said because there was a police report that mentioned that the guy jumped out of some bushes. So this guy is inciting people with false information. Look at this where he tweets, there were no bushes. I confirmed this live last night after police left the crime scene. Not one bush. And as I see Shrubs points out, Revolutionary Z tweeting about the bushes not being there. His recent pictures intentionally not showing them. The same guy that's inciting people, you can look at other pictures this guy took and you can see that there were bushes there. In this guy's own pictures, you can see the bushes. This is really irresponsible. And other people are tweeting about this, like this guy, who has over 14,000 followers on Twitter. This is a serious problem because in addition to this yellow journalism being tweeted, people are then picking up the story and featuring this tweet in their news articles, as if it's a credible source. And people are getting incited about this based on false information. This is ridiculous. They were breaking car windows and shouting right at the police over the shooting of Von Durrett Myers. See these other videos where I talk more about the background. Please share this video with as many people as you can. We're up against people that are propagating misinformation and getting people worked up about a case where they really shouldn't be. Like I said, look at the background on this guy. Let's see if we can reach at least as many people as these people who are spreading the false information. Please use the YouTube tools to share this with as many people as you can. Ask the original people who are propagating the falsehood if they will tweet this to correct the record. Because they're abusing their power. Revolutionary Z's yellow journalism is dangerous because people are getting very worked up and violent about this case. <laughs>